Today we're gonna pack for my solo trip to Mallorca, Spain. I, feel like I have lots of feels surrounding this trip. If you watched my let's book a trip together video, I'll link it down below and up above. You will have heard my feelings on this trip and basically this trip is the my first solo trip ever. So I'm going on my own. It is only for four days, so it's a really short trip. And it's the first time that I am leaving my child home alone whilst I am gone. And I am just incredible. I have all the feels about it. I'm, it's, I'm not gonna talk too much about it in this video because I talked a lot about it in the other video. But yeah, I've got a lot of feelings surrounding this trip. I need to get packing, I'm going tomorrow. If you would like to receive special perks, including unique badges and emojis, access to members only community posts and early access to every single video you can do so by clicking the join button down below or there will be a link in the description of this video it should be a fairly simple straightforward packing experience because like i say it's only for a couple of days i don't really need very much at all this is a new experience for me that i am taking like no not just no checked in but no like hand like what do they call it hand luggage i am just taking a personal item which this bag i will link it down below it's called cabin max and it's i haven't used it yet it's still got the tag on it is the maximum size that you could use so you could use this as a personal item and have hand luggage as well this is the maximum size that you can have on you know like sort of like Ryanair, EasyJet, those sort of like cheap budget airlines that I tend to travel on a lot, especially for you know like European short haul journeys. This is the maximum size that you can have, and this seems crazy big to me. It wasn't. I can't fasten it up. I'm not having a very good job. There we go. That's the bag. It can be kind of worn as a backpack, or it also has. A carry handle there and also has well <laughs> where is it i'm getting all it has this as well kind of like a, a over the head crossover thing these can be unbuckled so you can take these off if you just wanted to have it as a backpack and not carry this extra thingy my bob here um really good and then also the back pack bits straps can be unhooked and you can squeeze them into the back here. So, it's, I really love it. I think it's a fantastic bag. Obviously, I haven't used it yet, but so you can take, you can put the backpack straps in. I've taken like this. You could just have it as like a little carry bag if you so chose. Uh, it's got a handle on the top, handle on the side. You could put this one, hook this back on, I guess, and use it. I mean, personally for me, the only way it makes sense to carry a bag is on your back, really. But you could, I guess, strap this on and wear it like this if you wanted to. Good bag. We'll see how it holds up in use, but good bag. It has got it's got one of these straps on that if you were having a, a pull along suitcase, you can hook it over. It's got a front, a front, nice little front pocket there. And it's also got, it's got a side pocket for, you know, a water bottle or, oh, water bottle. I need to go and get my water bottle. I haven't packed that. And then this version has also got a place where you can store like a wire so I can put a battery in here and plug it in there. To be honest, I don't think I ever really use that function in a bag, but it's there if, if wanted or required. There's also a little, oh, you can see inside there's a little net mesh netting thing there. And there's another one here. So I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. I'm not pretty impressed. I'm very impressed with this bag. Like I say, I will link it down below if you want to have a look. There's also a good padded back. I wonder, I don't know whether I'm going to take my Mac actually. I don't know if a Mac would fit inside that. I'll have to, I'll have to test that out now I've said that. But let's get on with the packing of what i'm going to take we'll do clothes first honestly i'm hardly taking anything at all i always 
In fact, this uh, this packing cube is even is bigger than the bag. I should probably go for a smaller packing cube. Mm, we'll use this one for now. Maybe I will change it over to a smaller packing cube later. But all I am taking is, I think, <laughs> I have got. In fact, let's let's go back to. I'm going. I'm going to travel in. So I'm going to travel in these. These are my Tropic Feel like trainers that they you can get them wet and things they're really good i love them i took them to italy and they got a bit a bit dirty they could probably use, use a bit of a clean i'm gonna travel in those just because possibly when i'm there i'll be doing kind of walks and things and maybe i want some type of trainers so they're always obviously better to travel in then pack them and travel in them i am gonna also travel in some are just loose loose black pants these are uh, they've got pockets and i love them they are from backpacking bananas here on youtube they're just kind of they're just nice loose airy pants for warmer weather and they've got pockets in them which, which with zipped pockets which is fantastic i'll travel with those pants and then just like a vest uh, a vest top kind of thing i also will need something warmer that i will travel with as well because i'm only in terms of warmer things i'm only gonna have those pants and then sort of like whatever sort of little jacket cardigan type thing that i'll wear to travel in the weather at the moment i've just had a little look and the weather is looking like it's around about like sort of it's really warm but it's like 26 degrees during the day and maybe in the evenings it's dropping to but only like 22 in the evenings and then sort of like 18, 19, 12 at night. So pretty warm in all honesty. So I'm hoping that that will, that will be enough in terms of warmer clothes. Clothes that I'm then taking with me. I have got, let's have a little look what we've got. Not, we really haven't got much at all. I've got just one swimsuit. I think that I will probably be doing some swimming, maybe going to the sea not sure but i'm not gonna not take one obviously just in case so i've got that and then i just have just shove underwear in i've just got a couple of pairs of knickers and a bra then i have just got this possibly doesn't seem enough i've just got one pair of shorts i think i'll probably just just grab another pair of just summery shorts i always just go for these ones these they're they're gonna fall apart before I throw them away. I just love them. They're just <laughs> easy to throw on. Some black kind of lace shorts that I'll wear, well, during the day, during the night, whatever. And then I have just got two just vest, vest top things. I've got a red one and a green one here. And a, most of my things are black, which doesn't really go with, <laughs> with hot weather stuff does it but i really want i've talked before in other packing videos this uh is just like a, i throw this over like i'll wear this during the day when we were in italy in the summer i just throw this over a costume or you know whatever and i love it and i would love to have it in some more summery colors but i just can't find it and something like it anywhere where is it i think it's from asos yeah it's from asos and like it's just a throw but it's got pockets in it and it's just like a swing i love it i absolutely love it and i can't find anything at all like it with pockets if you know of anywhere that sells this type of swingy type dress with some pockets in that is just a throw over casual thing please do let me know because i really want ones that aren't black i have had this for probably about actually who you know 10 10 plus years now and I probably need, it's getting a bit tatty and i would just like one bit of more summery colors anyway so i've got that oh i have got this sarong type thing I don't know whether I'll be doing any like going into churches or anything. It was more it's multi-purpose. I always just take one because I can cover my shoulders if need be. I can use it for you know like lying down on the beach or I've got one. I always like to take one. So I've got one of those. I have got two pairs of socks. I imagine that I'll be wearing my earth owners most of the time to be honest, rather than these that I'm traveling in but I do I, I want to have them and so obviously I'm gonna wear socks with them I have some socks I have my earth runners in here I really love wearing flip-flops and I like that I can just flip like slide my flip-flops on 
The problem with earth ones is obviously you can't do that. <laughs> you have to like fasten them up and everything and it causes me just issues. I say issues. <laughs> I just have I don't I don't like tying up a shoe. I'm like really lazy, lazy, lazy that I just like to slide a shoe on. So it bothers me that I have to tie them up. But they are good for you know when if it's warm and you're doing some hiking or whatever, they are fantastic. And so I'm taking those because I imagine, well, I, I've, in my itinerary of sort of things that I've planned out, there are some walks. I'm taking them and pop them in there. And then I have just got a t-shirt for sleeping in. And that's about it in terms of clothes, which really doesn't seem very much at all. Well, it isn't very much. I don't need very much. Let's zip this up. I might change this to a smaller a smaller packing cube, but we'll put that in there. To be honest, the bag doesn't afford that you can take much more than that, to be quite honest. I have got my, just falling apart, my towel. It's just a microfiber towel <laughs> that I am taking. Okay, toiletries. This is my toiletries bag. And inside, obviously, it's hand luggage, and so, I've got a little bag here, separate, that's a whole, I'm allowed to take these things through, like the hundreds, hundred mils things. And in here, I just have, got some sun cream. Again, it, you know, it's gonna be warm. Take some sun cream, some face cream, no particular. I just have this and I'm just trying to use it up. It's not the best sort of shape, really, to, to go in this bag, but I need to, I need to get it used up. I then also have a little toothpaste. These things, like I, I also I've got like a shampoo, shower gel, conditioner. These I just gather them places. <laughs> I don't know when I when I stay in hotels and they just got like free shampoo there, or whatever. I'll just take it. Or I don't know where. I think they were handing these toothpastes out in a shopping centre once or something. It's like free samples, and so I just pick these types of things up so that when I'm going away, I can just grab some little bits. So yeah, so I've got. Um, a shampoo, a conditioner, a shower gel, a little toothpaste. This little stick is a deodorant. It's wild. It's just a little travel wild from wild. I use wild deodorant, and this was just a little stick, free sample or something. I don't know. Travel. It came with wild deodorant that I ordered once, so I just use that when I go away. Save taking the bigger version, and then I am taking this compete. I bought this in we're in Italy. And to be honest, it's all kind of melted and it, it cost me a fortune at some Italian pharmacy. And I didn't actually know what it was. I didn't know what I was buying. Basically, these were rubbing the back of my heels a little bit. And so I wanted something. But if I'd known what this was, I think I would have just used Vaseline because it's basically just like Vaseline. So that is sort of the liquid portion of of my toiletries, throw them in there. And then other toiletries, I just have my toothbrush, bamboo toothbrush, that when I'm done with, I throw them in my compost bin. My tangle teeth for brushing my hair. I have this razor. I usually use like a proper, like a, a metal, razor with a, like a you know a proper one <laughs> but when you're traveling you can't you can't go through with hand luggage with those because they have like proper proper blades you can't so I just have this little travel razor that I take away with me for legs under arms things like that wherever I want to get rid of hair a couple of plasters just thrown in a little bit of paracetamol and that is toiletries pretty simple I mean, this, yeah, this, this is this is like the maximum amount of stuff that you can take. In terms of electronics, uh, I mean, this isn't electronic, but this is, I love having one of these, use it all the time. Um, you know, obviously just a waterproof phone case. Fantastic, love it, take my phone in the sea, take some pictures, you know, wonderful. And then I have just got, where's, where's my bag? I've just got, my headphones, a battery for my phone, 
a charging wire for my phone and my iPad because I'll be taking both with me. This has got like multiple things on. And then again, I was thinking of taking this. I take this, I love this. It's got a UK plug on it, so I'll just put like a converter on it. Like it's open, this one I would put like a an EU converter on it. Plug it into the wall, and then I have all of those plugs and USB ports. That is probably more of a thing that when Stephen's travelling with me, my son is a better thing to take. I think I will just take. I've changed my mind on that because this is quite bulky to be honest. I'm gonna. Just, I'm just gonna take. An adapter so I'll have to go and get that uh, these are going to go in this bag I'm taking this bag this is just a little what are these called <laughs> like a bum bag type thing um, at the moment like I've just got some paracetamol I will use this like during the day when I'm out and about that I'll just have like my phone and camera and bits in here um, but for now I've just got money passport my driving license in here because i'm gonna be hiring a car so i need my driving license i'll just put the electronics in there i don't know whether going through like maybe they'll be fussy that this has to go in there um i guess it the, it can go in there if if needs be they usually aren't that bothered are they in all honesty but i think that's it obviously i'm gonna have the camera that i'm recording this on and as well let me just unplug it it's charger that can go in maybe i'll put my electronics up in this this little section here seems to be a good section and i want my water bottle as well i just have a um i'll put it on the screen it's a really good water bottle because it falls down into nothing and it's just i really like it so that's what i'm going to be taking and then I think I'll need a padlock actually. I need to get a padlock because I am staying in a hostel. Although, I mean, I'm not really staying there and leaving my stuff there. I'll just sleep in there, which is going to be a whole new experience for me. Quite exciting. And that is my bag. There we go. All packed up and ready to go. Like I say, it's a really this trip is a, is a big deal for me a really big deal um with not first time leaving my son on his own and i feel, i feel so emotional about it i'm not gonna start crying it's ridiculous i cry i keep crying about it um it just marks something for me that you know obviously he's growing up and he's he's sort of oh, i'm not gonna talk about it you know what i mean if you're a parent <laughs> you know uh, but all packed, ready to go. Make sure that you do subscribe because we will be having some videos from the beautiful Mallorca coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.